just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. And he's out, out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the okay. inning. Into the box, Omar Narvaez. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And there are two oh. away now. Stepping up is Luis Urias. He flew Ooh. out in his last A.B. And that one yanked just foul. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Lifted down the line and left. And it's a foul ball. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like everyone uh, will leave it right there as he strikes out and that ends the inning. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail this one one to nothing. Hitting outfielder Brian Reynolds fouled away. Pitch on the way. A curveball hit right back at him, and he'll flip on to first to record the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter Colin Moran. He feels shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. He throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. That's not an at bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, now the back. strikeout result no isn't good, field. but to go down on Hello. three pitches and None of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there. That's not a good look. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating... ...feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. One ball, and it's one and two. two. And it's fouled away. Gotta believe that was a mislocation because it missed right down the middle. This guy's gonna have nightmares at the plate thinking about missing that one. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Up with it, Narvaez. But no chance to get him, and he'll take first after striking out. And not what he wanted to do there, as now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Next, it'll be Kevin Newman. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field, because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Evans, the runner at first with two gone. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball. Ball game, and that ends the inning. One left. And welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. All right, thanks, Heidi. And he is okay. out at third, and that's a big mistake there leading off the inning. Oh, to me, that was just way too big of a risk. If you're leading off an inning and you've already got two bases easily, pull up and pat yourself on the back. 
you're already in the scoring position, but now they've got nothing to show for the leadoff extra base hit. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0-2. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Jackie Bradley Jr. goes down for out number two in the top half. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. And he doesn't get much on the swing here as this is pulled down the first base. Step on the bag himself. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Over one after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. Here's Gregory Polanco. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Hit to first. He's right there. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. And now in the box, Chad Cool comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of zone for strike one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Popped up. Adamas has a play, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now to back, keep Ryan Hayes. One for two. He singled and scored the game's only run back in the first. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt, but it's blocked nicely as he keeps it in front of him. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. Oh. The set. And the 2-0. 3-0 oh. the count. In the ground to short. Adonis brings it in. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into storm. Runner at first with two gone. And that brings up Adam Frazier. And that misses ball one. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And he takes a cold strike one. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Is laid Count off for two ball two. One. Hayes is off of first with two away. He's fallen three behind down one, three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the nope, plate. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now, now with two away. First offering. the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here a nice job of jumping ahead with strike one behind 0 and 2 now in the dirt and now let's see and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch hits are now even at four apiece misses ball two Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on it. So here's the cleanup hitter, Colin Moran, who was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Popped up. 
And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Come set, the 0-1. Good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer hand. Well, the side is retired as they make the play. So one run, one hit, no errors, and three men left on base. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Pirates. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Colton Wong. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Pops this one up, and he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Next to hit, Willie Adamas. No hits to this point. And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing in one. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And another foul ball. is swung on and missed so it's two up two down to start the sixth inning made pretty quick work of him right there setting him down on only four pitches and what I liked about all of those pitches what they were down around the knee there's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone It's a solo home run for Christian Yelich as the Brewers have cut the lead to two to one now. Well, it took long enough, but they're finally on the board. We might look back at this shot as a spark they needed to make their bats come alive. Then again, it might just be a blip on the radar. We'll see how the rest of the game unfolds. So here is Avisayo Garcia. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And the throw to first will indeed get them. It's a strikeout score at two to three and the inning is over. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the Pirates two and the Brewers one. Striding in is Philip Evans. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Fly ball out to straightaway left. After it is Yelich. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now the pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle, and this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Oh, thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out. an A.B. maybe once a game maybe once a week so he certainly capitalized on it last night here comes the Milwaukee skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's looking to the bullpen here so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight he'll depart after five and two thirds as it'll be up to the bullpen to keep his guys in the ball game. Josh Hader is going to get the call in something of a surprising move here as they're bringing in their closer in the sixth inning. First pitch on the way. 
one one low scoring game thus far two to one here in the sixth set up a wave with the changeup, but it's one and one way outside nearly to the backstop two and one now here it comes when a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The right field. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And Garcia. No, he can't come up with it. Stallings ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He pulls into third safely as also on the play a run comes across to score the pitcher number 39 yeah. into the box now cool. Cool. as he'll try to hold back oh on the swing God. but he went around for the first strike well his guys just gifted him with a two out RBI and now he's got a chance to help himself too. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Yep, one and two. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hits are even right now at five aside. Now a fastball, but that's two. easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest Big thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Misses here, ball four, and somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. Next, it'll be Key Brian Hayes. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. To the left side, but it's well fouled. Three runs, five hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Down the left field line and deep, and nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. One ball. Smart to lay two off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Now back, second base. First offering. Adam. Sends that one out of play for strike one. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0 and 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see one if he can finish strike. it off. To 1 and 2 now. Polanco on third, Cool on second, Hayes at first, two out in the inning. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch, and that'll be a painful run batted in. Wow, he's not even being subtle about it. He almost hits him with the previous pitch, and then he actually does it with the next one. Going to be interesting to see if they seek revenge at some point. Stepping in next, Brian Reynolds. His prior history in this matchup, he's a 333 hitter. Pulls the string on that one. One strike. Hit high and deep out to left field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And the run will score all the way from first. It's now seven to one. When you mess with the bull, you expect to get the horns, right? Base is loaded and they challenge him, which is obviously a huge mistake. And he nearly blasts a grand slam. Lucky for them, it's only a double, so three runs come across the score, and he stands at second. Three RBIs, Richard. Miguel Sanchez, the right handed reliever, standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. So now to the plate, Colin Moran. As he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat, it's strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Very weakly on the ground.
Oh and two here it is. Ground ball right side taken in by Wong. Go on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw. Stepping in is Omar Narvaez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. One away for the Brewers in their half of the seventh, and that'll bring Luis Urias to the plate. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. On the first, and it's a quick start to the seventh, as now there are two away. And that'll bring up Keston Gura. He's working on a one for two game so far. This one's down to third. Scooped up. On to first. And they don't come any easier than that. A three. And we're back for the bottom of the seventh as we check in with Heidi Watney. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. High throw, and the first base umpire says he got the foot back down too late. Safe at first. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. First pitch on its way. Kevin Newman is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first down. Oh, Up next for the Buckos, Jacob Stallings. He's one for two in this one. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. On the ground to the left side. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Nice execution right there. Ball was down with the knees. He stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. At the plate now, Gregory Polanco. 1-0 and oh the count. A ball and a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Right side, but it's well fouled. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Now to the plate, Chad Cool. He's been great on the mound, so we'll yeah. see if he can do something with the bat here cool. as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, oh, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second now time here tonight. Keep Ryan, Keep oh. Ryan Hayes hey. is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. A 1-2. Hard hit ball to second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Take a look at this right here. He didn't get jumpy and try and pull it down the left field line. Stayed in there, fought hard, and grinded out a nice knock the other way. Standing in now, Adam Frazier. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. On the ground to the right side. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. On to the third baseman, but it's off the mark. Little ground ball with eyes right there. He might have been a little bit out in front, but I don't care. That's a bullet knock in the box score tomorrow morning. So now it's Brian Reynolds. He swings and lines it to left. That's in there. Base hit. Pack 
take on another here as the runner scores from second. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Yelich is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. And come to the plate for score. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Jackie Bradley Jr. is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0-1. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up the throw. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. I got to count one and two. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down. To open up inning number eight, Tyrone Taylor will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. And a swing as the bat goes flying toward the third base dugout, but it looks like everybody was able to duck for cover. Oh, man, as a pitcher, I'd love seeing that bat go flying out of a batter's hand. Wind up and the 0-1. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left, but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Well, some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight, but I'm not one of them. I think anything. You can build on and take into the next game is valuable, and at least they're still battling. Here's Colton Wong now, as he'll swing and send a chopper out to second. Field it cleanly. Throw gets him to them. So two gone now in the Brewers' half of the eighth. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Now here's a swing and a ground ball for Frazier at second. Throw in time and the side is retired. But not before they're able to at least get one back on the solo home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Pirates 11. Brad Boxberger enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. First pitch on the way, fouled off. Oh, 
ball one. And there's ball one. One and one. That's and ball there's two. ball two now. There's not too many umpires in the one game play. that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Two ball, two now strike. a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. This one's down to third. And there's one away. Next, here is Kevin Newman looking to change his fortune. Yeah. Straight, 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Strike one to start the at bat. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows 9 out of 10 guys away. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. So far, two for three in this one. Oh, got him no a ball, swing out of his strike. shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Talk about stopping the bleeding right here. This guy has come in and just eck everything he wanted to against this offense. Nice to settle the boys down. Maybe regroup and we can get the bats going. Well, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0-2 pitch here, all, but from a hitter's perspective, a pretty good job of staying alive 0-2. Yeah, and he did an excellent job on the offensive side. Not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2. But he pulled his neck and he stayed in there. Gregory Polanco is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Stallings leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he fouls this one off. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Pirates leave one, and it remains. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. And here's Christian Yelich now, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the... Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot down the line in right, his second of the game, as it's now down to an eight-run ball game. Man, that's not very nice. You come in from the bullpen, and you get greeted with a bomb. He's going to have to hit the reset button pronto. To the plate now, Avisail Garcia. Hit in the air to center field. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. In now, Omar Narvaez. And this is hit hard to the right side. But that'll land foul strike one. The Brewers find themselves losing in the late innings. What are your thoughts on this one, guys? Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, d -row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs that's going to win the ball. Brewers down to their final out now. And stepping into the box will be Luis Urias. High in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Now this is one up and in, right. and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. 
Just a nice, clean single oh, right there. And I know it's not going to probably make a the ton of difference in this game. But in. one thing I love Fury. about the competitive fire right there is I don't care what the scoreboard is. We do not give away at bats. And he certainly didn't right there. Stepping in now, Keston Hiura. As he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Up next for Milwaukee, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. So here now is Jackie Bradley. Swing and a liner. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. It feels good to dominate a game like that. 11-3, the final score in this contest. The Pirates put on a real offensive show with 11 runs on the board. Chad Cool takes home the win. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew on Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. You're gonna be happy. Keep working today. That's my will come one day. Don't worry. You're gonna be happy. Keep fighting today. That smile will come one day. My friends come for free. When you get it free, you will lose it free. So you better know. Work hard is the best way. Okay. Okay, guys. Welcome to Dawson Racing. So you better know. Work hard is the best way. Good luck at this game. Okay. Um, guys, I think there's any, just any, you should not need to offer to comment down below. Yeah, designated hitter. Power on me. Designated hitter. Okay. 
epic. So, episode, I did in fact hit a home run. So, at first, my average right now is 172. Guys, if you remember, I was below 100. Oh my. Average. Now that, to the plate, number that, 13. Um, and up. we are set for baseball Good. here this evening. Oh, nice curve at me, but. Yeah. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. I had him reaching at oh, thin air that good. time, and he's very quickly down um, 0 and 2. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Oh, that was swing and the drive sent out toward the gap. Come on, come on, go, go, go. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he will cruise into was, second base as he starts nice. things out tonight with a double. Now well, that like was were pretty good. I thought that was you. Like, it almost results in a home run on, in the first head bat of the game, but he'll settle for a double and hope the number two man can pick him up. Line drive base right hit. Right on, you're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. The throw home. Tag, and he is no! out of the play. So much for our first run of the ball game. Right now is the designated oh, hitter, number 32. Oh, Double on. to open up the ball game. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, that was a nice swing and a miss. Nice Took something off that one, and it's strike oh, one. Man, hey, make no mistake oh, about yeah, it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. Oh, this guy's going to have to go. Behind 0-2 now. Hey, drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. Did a good job Get that curveball right on the line. That's a curveball right on the line. He's doing curveballs and change up that one right now. Swing and a miss. No! And two seamer right by him for the second out. That swing tells me he was really. Um, we're still down. Striding okay, I didn't now mean. The DH, number 13. Oh, uh, yeah. For two with that? a double on his line thus far. Nice! Now uh, this is hit high and deep come out on, to come left. Come on, come on, come on! And this will find the wall deep in the corner. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. The tag, and he's in there. And the deficit is down to hey. only one now. This thing was a double or more the second it left his back. He really drove it well, and it ended up one hopping the wall out there. And more importantly, he picks up two of them. And now they've got him in a rundown. Yeah, fly, fly, fly. Now they put the tag on him at third, and that will officially go as a caught steal. Next will be the designated yeah, I hitter, out low. number 13. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. And now the first pitch. Dude, that was like two years ago. Hey, like the character character. Character. Well, bam. Oh my god, a full teamer! That's a 92 hook and I go to the two! Right here. He'd love for a ground ball for a strike. Oh, he's gonna throw a fastball at me. And here's a swing oh, and a miss. Low. And that, okay. folks, is a Very big out great. number two. Okay, we can get here. Hey, this was a pretty oh, tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one sometimes. I got two doubles. And hey, I think my average just went up to a 200. I will take that as a minor league player. I'll take it as a minor league player. Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline joins me on the podcast today. Jim, that was do you a think this two-way experiment day. can work? Well, it's difficult. You know, it's interesting to take a look at. There's a reason this doesn't get tried very often. That was pretty good. It's very hard to be a big league hitter. It's very hard to be a big league pitcher. And when you're trying to hit at the same time, it really does. I can strike a lot of people out. Ready now okay. is Scott Burcham. He'll get us I'm started ready. in this one under the lights. 
first of three here on Friday night as the first pitch is in there for strike one. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Maddie, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Out. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. He did not expect that curveball. Oh, and a big curveball swung out and missed, and the First leadoff man out of the is day. retired to start out the game. Give me a K. That's one K for that. Grant Levine comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Forty-five degrees. And the skies are clear, but that's not helping the temperature. It's forty-five degrees here at first pitch. Coldest weather ever. I know that's a spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. This one's cleared toward left center. Rivera over to his right, and that's the second out of the inning. So far, I'm. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the baseball squad. Hero, what do you got in this lineup in the series opener? Matt, you take a look at this lineup and the one thing that jumps off the page is that they're last in hits in the league. Go, 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 go. You might be able to get through a long season with two, three run homers every now and then. But I'll tell you what, you have no chance of going to the postseason and waiting on a three run bomb because you're facing nothing but ones and twos. If you're going to beat up the three, four, five guys in a rotation, you have to find a way to create more scoring opportunities against the ones and twos. Get down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball. This one gets by him at third. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Yeah, that a was nice way to start a new series, dear The only thing you want to do is try to score early. It's always nice to win the first game of a series. Ah. Yeah, they're coming out swinging right here, trying to set the tone and let everybody breathe a deep sigh of relief. Hopefully, get this first game under our belt. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first, following the RBI single. That was good. Out to left center. In comes the left fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. Boy, so frustrating on, as a pitcher. Man. You make a quality okay, pitch on the inside anybody. half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D. Roney. Fights him the other way. Yeah, okay. you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by oh, the he player. Oh, it doesn't he matter what it looks swing. like. The knocks him Fast ball right there. Swung on, but fouled okay. off to the left. Not surprised he's laid on a heater Seven. right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Now here's a that fly ball. Well hit. And the right yes! fielder is there to make the catch, Come and on. the inning is over. Second inning Love set to go. Now it will be the catcher, the Marcus Efting. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Left side. He's got it. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's no able to reach base safely. Hey, I understand it's a tough backhand play right there, but he who hesitates is right. You can tell him fishing in the glove a little bit too long, and it cost him on getting the out right there. From the belt, the pitch. Ball, left out. One ball. No out. Efting on it first. Nobody out. Oh man, that caught him pretty good there as it ricochets toward the third baseline. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. At the plate, Ronald Hernandez. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Decker is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Right there. Scott Burcham has nice. struck out in right his last trip to the plate. No yeah. balls and one strike. The 0 and 1 delivery. Ball left outside. First and second now, one man. Now he is be swinging. Uh, one and two strikes oh, right now. Yeah, one and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. That's this the is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. A little bouncer. Ooh. Okay. Another try at 2-2. Two, two. Two, 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 two. And that's through. A base hit. Efting rounds the oh. corner and is headed home. And he's no, safe it. at the play what? as it's now a 2-0 okay. ball game. Into the, the box, place. Grant Levine. Into center field, line drive base hit. 
And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 3 0 game. So now to the plate, Brian Mundell. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Full count still. Okay, it's going to be back to, to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Ah, no! Toward center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he's okay. safe. Why? He's on for so bad. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count. But the batter was able to deliver on a 3 2 break. Nick Wongi is at the plate as he watches ball one. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's wow. one and one now. Step out of the box and wash that one off. Yes, that don't play. Finally end this Reined in to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he oh beats it out. Oh, my God! And I'm stepping in, no, Willie no, Quintana no, no. singled in his first A.B. Really. Oh, and one oh, the one count the from the belt. Kicks and deals. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep no, to right. No. And he gets yeah. there, makes the running play, Dang. and that you. ends the inning. So they nearly so bat what? around here. Is five. Seven of five. Digging in will be Jamison Hanna. He leads I off this half inning in what they hope will be a okay. rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get more of two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. To plate now, Marcus Eftin. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Up, him up. I got it, I got it. Number 13 to do this himself, and that's the first out. Digging in next, Jose Gomez. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the yeah. run, but this will land untouched. Hey, usually the second time through the order, okay. you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed okay. stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Durant one, 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 is there one. to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box, Ronald Hernandez yeah. flew out nice. last time up. No balls and a strike to count. It's a bit high. Time run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh, yeah. This is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. That's lifted the other way out to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Okay, guys, play that base. In now, Scott Burcham, as it's on the ground toward the hole. Scooped up, and the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. We are up 10 to 5. We were up. Leading off the inning, it will be Grant Levine. They could use a spark from him here. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Lined up, and the 0-1. Two, two. Bouncer up the middle. Two, two, two. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Yeah. Let's see who's yeah. going to get that big double in the gap to clear. Ryan Mundell is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. Hey, yeah. one. He's not going to get him oh as he strikes second. It's a little surprising to see them risking base runners by stealing down this many early in the game, but they're choosing to be aggressive. Might work out if they can drive them in now. Play at the plate and he got a great throw. Into the box now, Nick Longy. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. 
the 1-0. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Straight up, and this is pop up. foul, but perhaps playable behind first. Osinski is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Nice pitching for me so far. First delivery to him. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Hit to short. Throw on the second out. Force to the side is retired. So no runs on two hits. No. Okay, nothing that inning, but Here's the first pitch to him. Leading off. No balls in one strike. Again, so going on, Mom. Right side, but it's well foul. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll step on first himself for the out. At the plate now is Marcus Efting. One for two on his line so far in the game. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. The wind up a Ripped down the first base line. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. In this case, the numbers really do say it all. That's an incredible 13 hits now. Nothing pretty about those numbers. Kind of amazing he's even still in this one. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? He won't try. Next to hit is Ronald Fernandez. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The 0-1 pitch. Into right field. That's a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Okay, Standing in now. Scott oh, Benjamin. Why are the so high? That misses for ball yeah. one. Boy, d -Row, he's not missing very many barrels so far in this one. That is back-to-back -back bullets and another base hit. Yeah, no doubt about it. There was this batter that hung in the Texas Rangers clubhouse back in the day that said hit or get left behind. That's exactly what this is doing. Ball even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Oh, I fly yes. ball out to straightaway Ow. center. He's, out. I got it, I got it, I got He's it. under it, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left.